How's it going guys? Chips here with you again back with another Ark Let's Build video and in today's video we're going to be building this egg farm that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your Ark. And for a full list of building materials you will need as well as the map cords where I built this check out the description below. Also guys, while recording this, my mouse actually broke, which caused it to double click a lot and for me to fist bump. So let's play a game and count how many fist bumps you see in the video and leave it in a comment below. So with all that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so the first step will be to lay out our foundation starting with the outer ring. So we're gonna go ahead and place two regular stone foundations followed by three stone triangle foundations and then again, two regular foundations, and we're just gonna continue doing this pattern until we reach our start point. Now we're gonna go ahead and place another triangle right here in front of this triangle, and another regular foundation in front of each of these. And again, we will just continue doing this pattern until we reach the start point. Now we will just go ahead and fill in the center portion with stone triangle foundations. And so this will complete our foundation. So now go ahead and switch all of those regular stone foundations to block. Next, we're gonna go around our entire base here and place a stone stair in front of each foundation. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding some pillars. So the first thing we're going to do is choose one of these sides that we have our triangle foundations that's going to be the entry to our egg farm. So I'm going to use this side right here. So now before we get started with that, we're going to come over to the side to this square foundation right here and place a wooden fence foundation on each one of these regular stone foundations. And then on each side, go ahead and place five high stone pillars. Now we're gonna to come to the other side of our triangle foundation here to this foundation, this square of regular stone foundations and do the same thing. And now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead back in here to where what is going to be the entrance to our build and go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation down and then go ahead and snap a stone dinosaur gate frame to that just like this. So you'll now have this. So now the next thing we're gonna do is go around to every one of these foundations that are the regular stone foundations, just like this one right here, and do the same thing we've been doing. Place a wooden fence foundation on each one and then place five high stone pillars on each corner. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some pillars on the inside of the build. So starting right here on the front where we have our gate frame, we're gonna skip these two spots right here, come over to this spot and in line with this pillar, we're just gonna go ahead and place five more stone pillars. And we're just gonna continue doing this around the build. So we'll just continue by placing one in line right here with this pillar. And like I said, just continue doing this all the way around the inside, but again, we're gonna skip this corner and this corner in front of our gate frame. All right, now to place one final series of pillars here on our bottom floor, we're gonna head over to one of our sides with the triangle foundations and place a wooden fence foundation right here on this triangle foundation. And then right here in this center snap point, we're gonna add five more stone pillars. And now we're gonna go ahead and do this on every side that has the triangle foundations, except for our front side where we have that gate frame for our entrance. All 
All right, so now we're gonna come into one of our sides where we have the regular stone foundations, and we're gonna place a stone wall right here on this foundation. Now there are two snap points. You have the fence foundation and the regular foundation. We wanna place it on the regular foundation like this. So it'll be kind of more forward and higher up. Go ahead and add another wall right here. Then go ahead and place a wooden catwalk in between them like this, and place a wooden fence foundation on top of the wall, just like this on each one. Now you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system to get it like this. And then once you have those placed, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone dinosaur gate frame and place it on top of those with the green side facing us. Then just go ahead and fill in between it with a stone railing. So just like this. So now we're gonna go around to every side where we have our regular stone foundations and do the same thing. All right, now we're gonna come into one of our sides where we have the stone triangle foundations again, and we're gonna go right between these two pillars and place five high stone walls facing like this. We'll go ahead and do that between these two pillars. And then we'll do that one more time between these two pillars. So it should look like this now. So now go around to our other sides where we have the stone triangle foundations and do the same thing again minus our front side where we have our gate frame for the entrance. Next, we're gonna come back in there to those sides where we just placed those walls. And just right here on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone railing on each of these foundations and go ahead and do that on every side. Now we're gonna head inside our build to the back, straight back from our gate frame there at the front and go ahead to the top of this wall and place a hatch frame and then drop wooden ladders down from the hatch frame all the way to the ground. Then you can go ahead up to the top of this hatch frame and right here in front of it, we're going to add three stone triangle ceilings. And then we're just gonna make this ring going around. So next we'll place two regular stone ceilings, then three more triangle and just continue this pattern until we reach our start point. Next, we are gonna go ahead around and everywhere we have the triangle ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and place a regular stone ceiling in front of them, just like this. And then everywhere that we have the regular stone ceilings, we'll place three more stone triangle ceilings. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place our pillars for our second level. So what we're gonna be doing is placing five more stone pillars on top of all of the pillars that we've already placed. Now it's important on these sides that have the stone regular ceilings to not forget these pillars that are on the inside snap point right here down below. Now also here at the front where we have our gate, we're also gonna go ahead and add another one right here. Now, if you remember, we didn't place those down below, but we are gonna place them on the second level. So go around the entire build and anywhere that we place pillars on the original level and then also in those spots, go ahead and add five more stone pillars on top of them. All right guys, so I chose to just do that all off camera just to kind of speed up the video a little bit. But if you need to, go ahead and pause now and copy what we have. Now remember, each of these pillars are five high. All right, so now we're gonna come back into one of our sides where we have the regular stone ceilings and we're gonna do the same thing we did down below. So we're gonna start off by placing a stone wall on each of these, followed by a catwalk in the middle, 
a wooden fence foundation on top of each side. And again, you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system to place it like this. Then a stone dinosaur gate frame on top of that, again with the green side facing us, and two more stone railings to fill it in. So go ahead around and do this on every side that has the regular stone ceilings. All right, so now we're gonna come to one of these sides that has our stone triangle ceilings. And between these two pillars right here, we're gonna start off with a stone door frame and a reinforced door. Then add four stone walls on top of that. In this back spot right here between these two pillars, we're going to place five high stone walls. And then in this other side right here between these two pillars, we're going to again start with a door frame fill it in with a reinforced door and then four more walls on top. So now we're gonna go around to every side that has the stone triangle ceilings and do the same thing. All right, so now we're gonna be dropping some walls down. So starting off right here on the front, we're gonna drop a stone wall down from each of these ceilings above our gate frame. We'll head over here to one of our sides where we have the triangle ceilings again and do the same thing. And then just do this on the other four sides as well. Now we're gonna go ahead inside of our build and come in here to one of our bays. And what we're gonna do is get out another stone wall, one ceiling tile in, so right here. And we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. And the snap point we're gonna be looking for is this light blue snap point that is a little bit lower. So this one right here. Go ahead and place that and add another one next to it. Just making sure that you're getting the right snap point so they do line up. Go ahead and do this on all of these bay areas. And then when you get right here to where we have our front entrance, we're gonna do this again on this bay area over here. And we're just gonna continue it here on the front and then over here on this bay as well. Now back out here on our front, we'll go ahead and place a stone railing on each of these stone triangle ceilings and do this on the other five sides as well. Now at the very top, we're gonna go ahead and just create a ring for our final ceiling. So we're gonna start off here in one of these sections by placing our three stone triangle ceilings, place our two regular stone ceilings right here, and just continue this pattern all the way around. All right, now we're gonna create the design that we have at the very top. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and place a sloped thatch wall on one of these ceilings. Then we're going to place a thatch ceiling in front of that get out a stone railing and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this on the thatch ceiling and you can then go ahead and replace that sloped thatch wall with a stone window frame go ahead and then pick up your thatch ceiling and there we'll go so we're going to go ahead and do this all the way around this topmost ring
Next, we're gonna go ahead and drop some more stone walls. So here on the top, we're gonna go ahead and drop two stone walls down right here and go ahead and do this on the other five sides. Then we will once again head inside our build here to the top and we're gonna do the same thing we did at the bottom here in the bays, except for this time, instead of rotating the snap point, we are actually going to flip this wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this right here. Go ahead and place those down and just continue doing this around, same as we did at the bottom. All right, so now we're just gonna do a few more things to finish off the build. So first here on our second level, we're gonna go ahead and add two high stone railings to each of these ceilings going around our ring. Now we'll head down to our bottom floor and we're going to create a ring of stone railings here on the most center portion. So just like this, as you see, I'm doing right here. And this is gonna be where we put our oviraptor and let it wander around to boost our egg production. Then we're gonna go ahead and here on one of our side columns, we're just gonna go ahead and place a feeding trough in front of it just to provide some food. And then finally, the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and slap our gate on here on the front. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some paint, do a little bit of decorations and bring in our tames. So guys, stick around with me for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have applied a paint scheme here. So I've went with black for like kind of the main base areas of our build. And then I've used red and white to kind of make some of the details stand out a little bit more. And as far as decorations go, I haven't really done much. I've just put a trophy out here on the front as well as my flag out here on the front, which was painted by a Jelly Fox. I'm gonna leave his information linked down in the description, guys. Make sure you go check him out. He does a whole lot of awesome builds and paintings. I've also gone ahead and brought all of our Utyrannus in, as well as our Ovi Raptor there in the middle. And you can see we are laying eggs down here at the bottom. As we head up top, I'm gonna point out a few things up here. So one thing is obviously you will need to cryopod these guys to get them up here. Let's go through the ladder. You will need to cryopod these guys to get them up here. The reason I went with this was to kind of keep it a little bit, you know, more compact and not so big of a build. But if you're at the point where you're, you're, you're building a kibble farm for extraordinary kibble using Utyrannus, then you probably should have cryopods at that point also. And also guys, when you bring these guys up here, make sure you back them up tight to the railings so that when they do lay eggs, they will fall over the railing and down below. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me a comment below on what you think, and also don't forget to comment on how many punches you counted throughout the video. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some of their builds. If you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, guys, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my Twitter where you can keep up to date with me, as well as a link to my Discord where you can come hang out and chat and all kinds of different stuff. So anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.